one in the middle. Oh, oh my god. He's up well there. Oh, he's cut out the glass and he's offside again. Oh, yeah, give me half time. Give me half time. Fucking disgrace. Half time, bro. This is one of the most sinful half halves of football I've ever seen. Like, this is a disgrace, bro. What are we doing between the Monday to the Friday? Bro, they've all been crap. All of them. I don't know what the setup is. I don't know what the idea is, but these players look disjointed again. These players don't look like they have any idea what they're doing and they're just making it up as they go along. And to me, again, this comes down to coaching. We're not coaching any decent structure. We barely know how to break these lot down. When we do, there's nobody in the middle because they're not positionally aware. Or we overtouch everything or the decision making just stinks. It's lucky we're playing Sheffield United. Like just one goal and we'd probably be fine. But this is just, this is sinful. This is a mess. This team's bottom of the league as well and we're playing like this. Nil, it's nil nil at fucking half time. This is a joke. Yes guys, we're back. Big up everybody that's locked in. We somehow got back-to-back -back wins. It didn't really look great. I guess we take it. I guess we just take it and move. Like I'll be so real. I was sitting there in that first half laughing through half of the actions that I was seeing. I'm, I'm seeing scorpion kicks in our own half. I'm seeing guys just try and kick the ball and run straight into Sheffield United defenders. I'm seeing overplaying <laughs> again the slowdown of our play again it was frustrating but i guess persistence paid off i guess that that's all you can really say that coming out of this game because sheffield united didn't offer anything they were happy to just sit back take a draw don't blame them either they're in their own little relegation dogfight they got bigger problems than we do but we didn't make it look easy we didn't make it look easy it was just i guess sterling kicked on a little bit more in the second half Caicedo had a good game Palmer looked good, but that was, that was about it. I thought the back four did their job well, but they got barely anything tested. We were still slow to move the ball out the back. It was just mid. I'd be so real with you guys. It was just such a mid performance. Like, to anyone who's wondering why we're not going live, like, I've just decided, like, we can do this crap tomorrow. I'm going to go out. It's my mate's birthday. I'm going to go enjoy myself, celebrate a win. It's a rare win, so I'm going to enjoy these moments while we have them. And we'll go live tomorrow. Hate alongs will be live. They'll, they'll, we'll do a review early in the morning or something like that. And yeah, that'll be it. That'll be it. Other than that, like, <laughs> there's not much to talk about. We, we beat a team we were expected to beat. We just didn't make it look easy. By the way, po Poch is an absolute criminal. This guy is a straight criminal. What do these players do on a Monday to Friday? Because they don't look like they've improved a single thing. Every game I watch, it's like, what are we attempting to do? Where is the patterns? Why are we still doing Gallagher in the pivot? Thank God that didn't come back to bite us in the arse, by the way. Because that Gallagher in the pivot thing, I was already at head loss walking into the ground when I saw that. Then the four centre-backs thing at home again. We are just lucky we played a team that's just hopeless. Straight hopeless. 
and that they never made us pay for looking that lackadaisical as we did because like we looked poor we we looked that one's actually no 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 poor's a bit harsh i won't say poor we just didn't look we looked needy we looked needy that was it we could hold on to possession we looked clueless in the final third mudrick was trying to make things happen fair play to him same thing with gallagher but a lot of the things weren't really working out the link up with jackson as well wasn't there at all between the pair of them sterling was i barely noticed him in the first half in all honesty second half i thought he got a bit better started driving at players a bit more the cutbacks were starting to work from him and from cole palmer palmer again was a bit quiet in the first half but again kicked on a little bit more in the second just what just it's three points that's it you just take it and you move because i can't be gassed about this it's bottom of the table sheffield united if i get too gassed about this then like that that's beyond shameless that's that's literally beyond shameless we just take this and we try and build on it but we never ever fucking do we never ever build on performances like this you got a big match against newcastle you had the nerve to bench enzo for the, for that sort of game so i hope we get the win and again, thank God that didn't come back to bite us because in the first half, I was thinking, we really lack some incisive passing in the midfield. Maybe that comes from benching Enzo Fernandez. Again, all I can keep saying is, thank God Sheffield United did not make us pay because they had every right to do so. We were taking the piss in that first half. It got to the point where me and my mates were just busting jokes. We were starting new chants. Like, you know how the City fans do the Champions Olay? We were doing backwards Olay because that's all we were doing. Sideways, backwards, sideways, try pass forward. Can't find a way past three defenders, so you pass it sideways, backwards. Then you try again and it just recycles itself for 45 minutes until the ref has the decency to blow half time. That's all it was. That's all it was. But I mean, I guess we won. Just please beat Newcastle because that shit's like a cup final to us already. <laughs> We're so finished. <laughs> we have to win that one. Apparently Newcastle pulled up with two more injuries for that game. So again, all the more reason why we should be performing in that sort of game. But will we even play good football? Actually, will good football even matter because Newcastle have so many injuries? That might just be another stink fest. Like, we, we just got to scumbag our way through these games. Word to rants. That's what we got to do. Play some sinful-ass football against Newcastle. Get some jammy header or something and just take it and move. Because that looks like our best route to Europe. Unless we can build a run of wins, which is easier said than done with us in the way that we've been playing the last four months. Last four months, the last year. 2023 has been a mess for us. We'll see what happens. At least Enzo's rested. I guess and Cuckoo's rested because we didn't even see him come on in the second half. And we don't have to hear any bullshit excuse in the post-match press conference. So it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Just hopefully we see better performances. Hopefully we start to see a bit of a pattern of play showing. I think our next game is away at Wolves. Our away record's not been great. Wolves will probably sit back. It might be another scumbag game, but I won't be there to witness it. That's Christmas Eve. But on all that, I'm enjoying my Christmas. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe. We scumbagged a win against Sheffield United. It didn't look pretty at all. But we move. We move. I'm going to go get bladdered to enjoy tonight. So, sorry, guys. No live stream. But big up to everybody. Like, subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow. Out the chill.